Welcome to All Far. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to assemble the Brimness bed frame with four drawers from IKEA. For this build, you need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a hammer, an Allen key that IKEA provides you with, and an extra person to help you in some of the steps. Before you start the assembly, I recommend keeping everything in separate bags or containers so you don't lose anything in the building process. So the first step is to put these three pieces in this orientation. The middle long piece will have the big holes on each end facing up. Make sure the left and right smaller pieces have the unfinished sides facing inwards as shown. The right piece will have the big holes facing up, while the left piece won't. For mag 1, grab two metal rods that look like this, and two fasteners. First, insert the fastener with the open side facing out. Then insert the metal rod. Make sure it's the shorter end of the rod that's going in. Then fasten everything together, and do the same to the other hole as well. Next, grab six small screws, and for the left panel, you need to grab the drawer slider that's labeled CR, and for the right panel, you need to grab the drawer slider that's labeled CL. Now put the CR drawer slider onto the left panel like this, and screw in the three screws into these three holes. Now do the same with the CL drawer slider. It's going to look something like this. Then flip the panels over as shown. So again, grab the same six small screws, the CL drawer slider, and the CR drawer slider. This time, the CL drawer slider will be placed on the left panel, and the CR drawer slider will be placed on the right panel. Secure everything using the six screws. Now grab eight medium-sized dowels and hammer them into the inside holes of the long panel and the two shorter panels. Then lift up the long middle panel with the finished side facing up and grab the right smaller panel. Insert the right smaller panel like this. Now insert the left panel like this. Make sure it goes in all the way. Next, grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Now grab two scratch guards and two wooden pieces that look like this. You'll be hammering in the scratch guards between these two holes, but on the other side. So flip the two wooden pieces over and hammer each scratch guard to each piece of wood. Then grab two of these screws and flip each piece of wood so it's in this orientation. Then screw the two screws into these two inside holes. Now grab six of the smallest wooden dowels and hammer them into these six outside holes. Then slide the two long thin pieces of wood out and place the middle structure on top in the same orientation that you left it in. Next, go to the left side and place the middle section onto the long thin piece of wood like this. Do the same to the right side as well. Now grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Put the structure you just worked on aside and grab yourself these two big panels. Make sure you put them in this orientation. Also, grab 12 of these big plastic washers, 12 long screws, and two pairs of the CR and CL drawer sliders. So with this panel, the left side will have a CL drawer slider, then put the three big washers like this. The right side will have the CR drawer slider, and again, put three washers on like this. Then simply put the CR drawer slider on like this and secure everything using three screws. They're going to be going into these three holes, and do the same to the CL drawer slider as well. Now for this panel, the left side will have the CR drawer slider. Again, place the three big plastic washers like this. The right side will have the CL drawer slider, and again, place the three washers as shown. Then put the CL drawer slider onto the washers and secure them using three long screws. Do the same to the CR drawer slider as well.
Next, grab four scratch guards and hammer them into these four spots along the edge of each panel. Next, grab four of these rods and screw them in by hand into these four holes. Then grab eight of these screws and screw them into these eight holes. Now grab the top panel, the one without the middle indentations, and place it in this orientation. Also bring in the middle structure. It should be placed in the same orientation you left it in. Then simply attach the top panel to the middle structure as shown. Now grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next, grab four of these circular metal pieces and two long pieces of wood that look like this. Make sure the two pieces of wood are put in this orientation. The two holes that I pointed at should face inwards. Then go to one end and place the metal pieces in like this. Just make sure the arrows on the metal pieces are facing this way. Do the same to the other end. Again, make sure the arrows are facing outwards. Now grab 8 of the largest dowels and hammer them into these 8 outside holes. Then grab 2 of these metal braces and 4 smaller size screws. Now go to the middle section where the pair of holes are located and secure the metal braces to the pieces of wood using 4 screws. The metal braces will be secured in this orientation. Then grab the right piece of wood and attach it like this. You may need another person to help you hold up this piece of wood. Using the allen key, tighten the metal circular piece. The metal brace you just secured a step ago should fit nicely on top of this panel. Then grab two small screws and secure the metal brace to the panel. Now go to the left side and attach the left piece of wood. Again, you'll need another person to hold on to the piece of wood while you use the allen key to secure it to the top panel. And again, the metal brace should fit nicely onto the panel. Then grab two small screws and secure the metal brace to the panel. Next, go to the bottom of the structure and attach the footboard like this and use the allen key to tighten both sides. Now grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. So for this next step, you'll need to take into consideration the thickness of your mattress. My mattress is about 9.5 inches thick, so I'll be using the holes along the bottom. So from bag 2, grab 16 of the longer screws and two side support rails. You'll be using 8 screws to secure each side support rail. It's going to look something like this, and do the same for the right support rail as well. Now grab two metal pieces that look like this, and four longer screws. For me they'll be attached to the bottom holes, basically aligned with the side support rails I just secured. So it's going to look something like this. Do the same to the other side as well. Next, grab four of these adjustable rails and eight of the smallest screws from bag two. So go to the top left quadrant and attach the rail like this. The non-adjustable side will be attached to this hole and the adjustable part will be attached to this hole. Make sure you put the rail underneath and the two screws will be secured on top. The end product should look something like this. Now go to the top right quadrant and do the same thing. 
it's going to be a mirror image basically of what you did for the top left quadrant in the last step. Then go to the bottom right quadrant and attach the rail using the two smaller screws. The part that comes out of the rail will be attached to this hole. Again, the rail goes under and the screws go on top. Do the same for the bottom left quadrant. Next, grab four of the smaller screws and screw one screw into the middle part of each adjustable rail. It could look a bit different than mine as the size of my bed frame is a double. Basically screw it into the hole closest to the adjustable part of the rail. Next, grab the middle support beam and attach it as shown. Then grab 8 plastic hooks and 8 of the last screws from bag 2 and secure the hooks to the metal frame. The screws will go underneath and the hooks will obviously go on top. So with the top of the bed frame, the hooks will be secured in this orientation. As for the bottom of the bed frame, the hooks will look like this, basically in the opposite direction. Now grab one of the slatted bed bases. Make sure the concave part of each piece of wood is facing down and simply hook both ends. Do the same with the other bed base. Now let's focus on the drawers. Put the front of the drawer in this orientation. The sides should be put with the flat edge facing inwards. The outside edges should have more of a curve to them. Also grab four dowels from bag three and hammer them into these four holes. Then grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Now attach the side panels like this. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then put the bottom of the drawer like this. Now attach the back of the drawer as shown. Next, grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Then put the drawer in this orientation and grab yourself six small screws and corresponding drawer sliders that are marked with DL and DR. Go to the left side of the drawer and grab the drawer slider that's marked DL. Then simply secure the drawer slider using three screws. The screws will go into these three holes. Now go to the right side and secure the drawer slider that's marked DR. Grab two small screws and this support. Make sure the two screws look different than the ones you used in the previous step. And for now, put the support in this orientation. Then screw in the screw, but not all the way in, and spin the support around 180 degrees as shown. Then go to the other end and secure the support using the other screw. This one will be secured all the way. Next, grab the handle and two long screws. Attach the handle using the two screws.
Now repeat the same steps that are related to the drawers three more times. After completing the drawers, put the drawers in as shown. I would test them out to see if they open and close smoothly, but if you follow this tutorial, there shouldn't be any issues. Now you should have a fully assembled Brimna's bed frame of drawers. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.